Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Advanced Blueprint series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at some programming concepts and how we can use them to apply to our learning for blueprints. Now blueprints is a programming language just like any other and it's going to work in a similar way. What I mean by that, if you take a look at this little diagram that I've made here, it's going to help you understand blueprints blueprints and also how you can understand programming because they work together. So essentially, starting off from the beginning, you are going to have three main parts of your programming. This is the standard for a normal object-oriented programming language. Inside of there, you are going to have your events and then you're going to have your actions and you're going to have your objects. So the way that this works is it's an object oriented programming language so you have your objects. An example of an object would be things like a point light, a static mesh, a matinee actor and other components within your level or within your game. Going on from there you are going to have your actions. These are essentially things that you can apply to your object to make a change or to add the functionality of your game. So for example, let's say you're working with a point light as your object, you could then change the visibility of that using an action. And those two objects, or sorry, the object and the action are then going to be linked by a target pin, which is sort of just what links it up. So the object is the point light and then from there, you are applying an action which can be toggle visibility or anything else that you decide. And you can see underneath these, we've got a couple of examples. So you might want to toggle the visibility of the light. You might want to destroy the light so it disappears completely. Um, you might even want to change the scale. It's entirely up to you. But for these things to apply and to actually change the object, you need an event. And now these events are going to be something that's going to fire off a sequence of code. And there's all kinds of different events inside of Unreal Engine 4, all of which you're going to get to know as you go through everything. So an event, an example of that would be begin play, which is when the player first loads the level. What it's going to do is if you have your begin play hooked up to one of your actions and your objects, as soon as begin play fires off, which is the beginning of the level, it's going to apply the action, which then feeds onto the objects. And you've got all kinds of different examples. And we are going to go over those as we get into the series. So what I'm going to do is try and replicate this inside of Unreal Engine 4 using a point light so you understand how all of this works. And what we're going to do is use a begin play event to toggle the visibility of a point light. So jumping into Unreal Engine 4, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to drag a point light into my scene and I am just going to place it in here inside of my example map. And just so that we can see this a little bit better, I'm going to go into my details panel with this point light selected and just make it a nice little red and turn the intensity up just like that. Now, if you guys wanna learn how point lights or the engine works in general, I definitely advise you check out my other series, such as my level design series. You can find the link for that in the description of this video. So anyway, moving on, let's go ahead and bring this into our level blueprint. Hopefully from the last video, you do have a solid understanding of the difference between a blueprint class and a level blueprint. The level blueprint allows you to change the code specifically for the current level. So I'm going to open this up because the point light is in here. So we've got our main interface here and in my event graph, what I need to do then to try and replicate what I've mentioned here, which is turning on the visibility or off the visibility of the point light, I need to first things first get the event and the event that I'm after is called begin play. So all I've got to do to get that is just right click and type in begin play and you're going to notice we get to that. Or alternatively, another way that we can get to this, is just right click and then if we scroll down, we've got our events um, inside of here and you can find them in the little various folders, but that's entirely up to you. Personally, I like to just type them in, it's the quickest way to do it. So with this now then, what I'm going to do is drag out from the execution pin 
And with this, I'm going to click and drag to place it where I need to, and then release it, and from there, I can apply an action from this event. And the action I'm after is called toggle visibility. So if I type in visibility, I should be able to find that. If not, I can just right click, type in visibility. So if I type in visibility, I should be able to find this. At the moment, I can't find it. And the reason why is because I haven't got the object. So I need to select the object, right click, and then what we need to do is type in toggle visibility. If it's still not there, that's fine. We need to then create a reference to the point light. So this is going to become your object and it's gonna look like this. And then with my point light, I can then toggle the visibility of the light component, which is the one that I've got here, which is point light component. With this, if I just move this and move this down, what it's gonna do then if I hook up the execution pin to the action, just like this, what it's gonna do is toggle the visibility of this point light component just like that. So let's just go ahead and test this. And before I can do anything, I actually need to compile this. So just press compile in the top left hand corner here so that it just runs our code and make sure it's all good. With this, I'm gonna close my level blueprint and you can see by default, the visibility of this light is currently set to true. So you should be able to see it. So having said that, if I press play, it should automatically, as soon as I press begin play, disappear. So what I'm gonna do is quickly make a change to my level blueprint so you can actually see this. And what I'm gonna do is open up my level blueprint and after begin play, I am going to drag out and I'm going to add a delay node. So instead of going straight away on begin play, it's going to wait a little bit of time and then change the visibility. Just make sure your execution pin is hooked up to this and from this to this, and it's still going to apply the action to the object. So the duration, the delay, I'm gonna make it wait three seconds. So now if we compile, press play, you can see that we've got it on after three seconds, it's going to switch us off. So hopefully you guys are getting a better understanding of blueprints, and I'm actually gonna wrap up the video here. If you do have any questions or anything like that, feel free to either join our Discord or just leave a comment in the comment section below. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.